Last week, we took a look at a high contrast, black and white, one light interpretation of a beauty image. But this week, we're going to go the exact opposite direction with three lights and gels. Let's take a look. Lindsay Adler here. I believe that photography is creative problem solving. But the key is that there's no one right solution. There's no one right answer. And so whenever I'm approaching photographing makeup or clothing, there are a million different directions that I could go. And it's all based upon the concept or how I want the viewer to feel about the image. So when I have creative play days, working with makeup artists or hairstylists, it's really just about experimenting and trying new things. So last week, I photographed this amazing makeup look and I decided that one way I wanted to shoot it was high contrast black and white with a single hard light source. But now after I experimented a bit, I decided why not play with color? Why not play with gels and multiple lights? And so now let's take a look at a completely, completely different interpretation. This is what I came up with when I decided to experiment with gels. I want you to take a look behind the scenes and I'll show you how it was lit. So this image, I ended up using three different strobes, each one having a different job. First and foremost is my main light. And I actually stuck to the same setup as before with the main light using a bare bulb, no modifiers, which gives me a very hard light source. So I started there, but then it was about adding color, mixing the color in. So next up was my fill light. My fill light is below my main light and I use a zoom reflector with a blue gel. And what that does is with my main light elevated so high up, the blue gel now fills in all the shadows. And you can actually see this in the behind the scenes image. If you look closely, you can see that there are gels in the eye sockets and gels underneath the jawline. That's where the shadows were. And now the gels are absorbing in those areas. Now this added a little bit of color, but I want an image all about color. So the next strobe I added was a 10 degree grid with a magenta gel to the background. By using purples and blues and magentas, I chose an analogous color palette. So I have three lights, each one with a different job, a main light, a background light, a fill light. But let's real quick talk about my camera. I use a Canon 5D Mark IV, again, with that same lens as last week, a 70 to 200, and I zoomed in nice and tight, right around 200 millimeters. So let's actually see what the image looked like in camera and then the different steps I took to perfect it. Now in camera, I like what the color looks like, but I know that in the end, I want them to be a little bit punchier, have a little bit more contrast, maybe a little bit more saturation. So in camera raw, I did in fact, darken the image down just a bit, increase the saturation just a bit, as well as the contrast. Now, when I did so, I noticed that there were some areas I wanted to clean up, perhaps a little bit of skin texture, and also I wanted to even out the photograph. Because she is facing straight onto camera, I wanted to achieve a bit more symmetry. So what I did is I cleaned up the skin, and then I made this, the lips look a bit more symmetrical. And I like the color, but the last step I took was a little bit of color grading. And so what I did is I added blue to the shadows and saturated the colors just a tiny bit more. And that's what gives you this final look. Now there's one other thing you may notice. You'll see that the color of the eyes change. For me, when I'm using color in a photograph, I wanna make sure every color is on purpose. And before the color change, the eyes are kind of a, a greenish brown, which doesn't work with my blue and purple and pink color palette. So I decided to make them blue. This is not a portrait, this is a fashion image, so I can change the eyes to whatever color I choose. So now, let's take a look. Which one of these solutions is correct? Which one of them do you prefer? One is with a single light, high contrast black and white. The other uses three strobes and colors and gels. And the answer is, it's all up to personal preference. Uh, if I were doing this for a commercial job or for a magazine, I'd be analyzing how does the magazine shoot? What is their style? Are they more likely to use black and white? So they're more likely to use saturated colors. If it's a client, um, what are they trying to express to the target audience? What mood do they want to communicate? But when it's all up to me and creativity, it's just about experimenting. Now, if you want to see the gear used in the creation of the gels photograph, check out the links in the description below. And in the comments, I'd love to hear which image you prefer and why, because the why is most important. What are you feeling towards each and why would you choose one over the other? If you'd like to see more of these photo deconstructions and see how my creative mind works, be sure to subscribe. See you next time.